Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the soft signs of labour. This refers to signs that your labour is probably going to start over the next week to 10 days max. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Anya and I'm a hypnobirthing practitioner. My YouTube channel is here to support you through pregnancy, birth and motherhood. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you don't miss my weekly videos. I bring out a new one every single Tuesday. So the first soft sign of labour is losing your mucus plug. Your mucus plug is located in your cervical hole. So there's a hole in the middle of your cervix and when you get pregnant, your cervix produces more mucus to block any bacteria or germs from entering into your womb from your vagina. This is basically protecting your baby from any infection. But when you're getting closer to labour starting, your mucus plug can become dislodged as your cervix starts to open slightly and thin out. So you may notice a big blob of mucus in your underwear or on tissue paper after wiping yourself after going to the toilet. You may also notice thicker vaginal discharge than usual and this can be your mucus plug coming out in little bits. It's nothing to worry about, it's just a sign that you'll be meeting your baby very soon. Another soft sign of labour is your baby dropping down lower into your pelvis and this usually happens towards the end of your third trimester. You may also notice that your pregnant belly looks fuller and larger lower down beneath your navel. You may experience some pelvic pain due to the weight of your baby so low down. This could be accompanied by shooting pains known as lightning crotch. It can feel a bit like electric shocks in the vagina, rectum or pelvic area. The next soft sign of labour is called the bloody show. This sounds horrific and scary, but it really isn't. It's just a little bit of spotting that you could notice in your underwear at the end of your third trimester. What's actually happened is a few capillaries in your cervix have ruptured and caused a little bit of bleeding. It's very normal, it's just a sign that your cervix has started to open and thin out in preparation for labour to start. If you, however, noticed heavy vaginal bleeding, get to the hospital straight away because that is cause for concern but a little bit of spotting is very normal and the spotting could be accompanied by losing your mucus plug as well and you may also notice that your mucus plug is pink and a little bit blood tinged or brown because those capillaries have burst and leaked into the mucus plug as well. Another sign is experiencing more Braxton Hicks contractions. Braxton Hicks feel like an intense tightening over your pregnant tummy. They come and go, but as you get closer to your due date, they may become more regular. Braxton Hicks contractions are your womb's way of getting geared up for real labour contractions. When having a Braxton Hicks contraction, your womb muscles tighten for a while then release, and it's their way of flexing and exercising in preparation for childbirth. As you get to the end of your third trimester, it is really normal to experience regular episodes of Braxton Hicks contractions but please be aware that they can be exacerbated by needing to pee, being dehydrated, having sex and lifting something heavy. So please make sure that you're not overdoing it, that you're taking care of yourself, that you're not engaging in activities that are too strenuous or exertive for you. Another sign is nesting. Now this can occur early on in pregnancy, but the need to nest can get more intense as you near the end of your pregnancy. Nesting is feeling the urge to organise your home ready for your baby. So getting your baby's room sorted, organising clothes, cleaning and tidying. It's a real desire to get everything in order for your baby's arrival. And the final soft sign of labour is experiencing more backache. So at the end of your pregnancy, your pregnant belly is really heavy, your centre of gravity shifts, and you'll find yourself leaning back more to be able to compensate for the weight at the front of your body. And this can cause more backache and more back pain. At the same time, your body is producing more of the hormone relaxin. This helps relax your ligaments so that your baby can pass through your pelvis and birth canal more easily. However, loosened ligaments and joints can increase backache, especially as your baby drops lower into the pelvis ready for labor. All of these soft signs of labour are important to be aware of so you know what to look out for at the end of your pregnancy. If you've got any questions about the signs of labour, please pop me a message in the comments section beneath this video and I'll reply as soon as I can. 
Also, please make sure that you check out my Braxton Hicks contraction video and my real labour versus false labour contraction video because this will give you more insight into what to expect at the end of your third trimester and how to know whether your labour has actually begun. And if you're interested in finding out more about hypnobirthing, why not register for my next free hypnobirthing taster session on Zoom? I run them every single month and you can register for the next one by clicking the link to my website in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope it's been helpful and see you again soon.